I live in a small New England city that is nestled up against a river that pours out into the ocean. In that river, the river bridge is a lighthouse. Growing up, I often heard the horn from that lighthouse, guiding travelers in times of fog or storm. I don't hear it anymore. Some of the lighthouse buildings still remain, but they no longer guide travelers during troubled times. They're needed now more than ever. The waters are rough, the times are troubled, and a darkness is settling into everywhere. My name is Will, and this is the Sacred Lighthouse. Sancte Michael Archangeli, defende nos in prelio, contra ne quitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium. And it's 12 o'clock on a Friday. And what does that mean? Uh, Friday fish and chips. Uh, and this is, well, you're probably wondering, if you follow my channel, you're probably wondering what the heck that means, Friday fish and chips. Well, every Friday at noontime, well, roughly around noontime, I, um, I go for a walk to a local restaurant for a, a nice fish and chips, which is one of my favorite foods. And I have lunch. Uh, and I thought, you know, maybe I'd share that with you. And I, I mean, I'll explain more about it, but what I'm going to do is it's, this is kind of like a vlog, a vlog, a vlog, a vlog. And I'm going to just talk and show you a few things, but I'm not just going to talk about myself. You don't really want to hear that. I'm going to talk about things that um, are related to my channel, you know, creativity and projects. Let's do the intro and then we'll come right back to it. Okay, welcome back. And you know, I love that intro. That's uh, my gift to you intro. So my concept here, like I was saying, is, is you know, every Friday I'm going to do a vlog. And uh, I'm going to talk about, you know, while I go for fish and chips here, I'm actually narrating over the video. I shot the video and then I'm narrating over it. I'm going to talk a little bit about different subjects and different ideas and themes that I have uh, that I can share with you. And uh, maybe you'll enjoy and you'll gain something from them. Like I've, I've laid out a rough... Um, framework for a series of these to do to do one every Friday at noon and I get some interesting things I can talk about so um, to start it out um, just this first one I'm going to talk about myself a little bit only because um, I, I think it can relate you can relate to it because the theme of this vlog is um, motivation and inspiration and you might be thinking, oh my goodness, there's about a billion motivation and inspiration film uh, videos on YouTube. And I'm guilty of watching them too. You know, I, I actually kind of love some of them. You know, they're, they're enjoyable. They help. And I'm gonna, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story here as it relates to the, you know, the website and the YouTube channel. And, and, uh, and to help you to maybe understand better. So if you want to do something creative or if you want to maybe pursue something a little bit different in life, uh, maybe you can find some encouragement in this. So I'm going to start out with um, this this little piece of this little piece of um, paper that I have, and I, I'm going to pop in a video of I took a video of it. But I've had this paper uh, for about 15 years now, and just about you know I, I used to have it pinned up on my bulletin board for a long, long time, and I had it taped to my desk and. I think I, I, for a couple of years, I even had it taped to my, the monitor of my computer. And then, but somehow it got tucked away into a, into a file folder. And, you know, a couple of years ago, I rediscovered it. And I, I, put, I, I, I found it, and I pulled it out, and I read it. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Wow. How a person's life can turn on a dime, I guess you could say, with just a, uh, a thought, a little piece of paper, and some, in, and some, uh, some action. So the paper says, you know, I wrote, I was 43 years old when I wrote this paper. So, you know, you can see that was actually quite, that was, well, let me see, 12 years ago, almost 13 years ago. And it says, you know, I want to quit my job. <laughs> but, um, you know, how can I achieve this? And I won't tell you the whole, well, it's kind of personal. But, uh, 
you know, and w what can I do in my life that's fulfilling and satisfying and rewarding? And then I, you know, I flip it over on the other side, and I had made this little list on this ye now very yellow piece of paper. You know, what do I think I would enjoy? You know, dioramas, and this is the list. This is you know the true list. Dioramas, models, shadow boxes, cuckoo clocks, grandfather clocks, writing, creating a world, artwork, travel, thinking, and philosophy. And there's an, and there's the space for more things to add to the list. But uh, you know, and it got me thinking. I was working a job full time, and it was a lot. It was a great job, a great company, great people, but I was definitely unfulfilled because there was a creative component to it that I was was missing. You know. I mean, it was a good. I was in a good career. I was, I was pretty much set in a good, solid middle class life, and but uh, you know, the commute was a grind. I, it was about a forty-five minute drive each way every day, sometimes six days a week, and occasionally seven. You know, which a lot of you adults, if you're an adult, you know that story, right? But uh, I was like, you know, Jeepers, you know, I'm in my forties, and 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 I, I, what am I doing here? I'm just, well, just another cog in the wheel. Which for some people is okay, but for me it wasn't. You know, I had a lot of goals to achieve. So, the interesting thing now, when we look back on it, you know, a dozen years later, I, uh, I, I, you know, actually a lot of these things are part of my life, right? You know, dioramas and models and cuckoo clocks and, you know, creating a world and travel. If you followed my YouTube channel for a long time, you know, I've done some nice travel, you know, to Egypt and. Ireland and Greece and all you know quite a few interesting places and uh, as far as the writing goes I've, I'm, I'm working on my seventh and eighth book right now you know so my seventh book is a, a novel and my eighth is a, um, a non-fiction book you know on telescopes so I've I look back and I say gee you know that little kernel of a thought that had been gnawing at me for a long time has kind of been realized I mean I, I have a lot more goals to achieve and I get a lot more things to do and uh, but you know it's nice to see that you know, at some point in the past I had been working up inside me and I decided to make a decision to just go for it and for me timing was maybe a little off but good enough in that I spent a lot of time and I had notebooks where I was like how the heck do you make money with dioramas you know or model making or you know, shadow boxes, or, you know, I, how do you make money traveling? So, uh, but I, I kind of saw that the web might be a good thing. I mean, like, wow. And at that time, nobody was making any money on the web. It was, there was no money to be made. It was still kind of young and fresh, and, you know, c companies weren't on board with it really yet. And, you know, it was just a place where a lot of people was were creating stuff just for the fun and the joy of it. So I started that, and I said, you know, I, I probably could somehow monetize this. So I launched into it, and I quit my job, and I just went. In the first couple of years were tough, but you know, it was money. All of a sudden, e-commerce started to come around, and, and and you know, and advertising dollars and stuff like that, and and then about two years into it, I started YouTube because I've been on YouTube now over closing on 11 years since the beginning of YouTube you know um, and that's you know it's quite a bit and, what, what, and I'm over 800 videos now so now um, that's a, kind of a little bit of my story and um, in one of my previous videos I post somebody asked hey you got to do a day in the life video of myself and what I do in my daily work and how you know just what, what, what a normal day is like for Will you know when it comes to working and you know creating projects and doing shooting videos and writing and all of that so and I, I will do that I'll, I'll do a day in the life video so you can see if you're curious about what this kind of life is not necessarily me but this kind of life where you you know you're you're self-employed and you're you, you know you the web is your your livelihood but I, what I really want to say here is so I think no matter what your age, whether you're you know young, you're a kid, or you're a teenager, or you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You know the web doesn't really care about that. It doesn't. Um, you know if you can if you have something to contribute, and you do, and everyone does, in your own special way, 
like then you know the web might be a, a way for you to go about it I mean there, there's so many tools available you can you can just write if that's the way for you to do it or if you have particular crafting skills hey you can teach people how to do it or you can craft up stuff and use the web to sell the stuff you know I mean it's, it's quite quite amazing how the world has um, you know changed in my lifetime because when I was a teenager there was no web I literally no web well the dopper web dopper net was around but you know regular people couldn't use it you know um, so you know it's something to think about and I and a funny thing too is that now I, I, I get a lot of email from people who want to do it and they always you know ask me a lot of questions how I've done it and how I how I get by and you know how much money I make that's a big question and 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 one sense of it that I get from a you know a fair percentage of people maybe 95 percent maybe 90 95 percent of them is that they want an easy way and they think the web is an easy way to do it you know an easy way to make a living and make money where you can log in and chat for a little bit and you're good for the week and you know, you know the money's going to come rolling in and it's been my experience that that it just isn't true and as the web gets more complicated with more and more stuff there's now there's you know 10 billion videos and there's 50 billion web pages you know you're, you're competing so you know the web isn't a place with rare exception to make easy money but it is a place that you can make a living I, I, I do it and you know, a lot of other people do it too, and be, particularly because there's a lot of different outlets for you. You know, you can you can do tutorials, you can do writing, you can create games, you can write up stories, you can sell products, you can, you know, who knows? You know, you can specialize in in certain subjects and become an expert on the web in that subject, and people will follow you and people will be grateful for that for that for you helping them and giving them something you know contributing something to their life that's that's real important to me you know so you know that's 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 important i i'm i, I wanted to get that point out there and i wanted to stress the point that it isn't you know it's 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 you shouldn't think of it as you know easy money cuz you know it's not uh, although there are rare exceptions i think you know where somebody figures out a way to make some easy money or make maybe make a lot of easy money but you know that gets that's getting less and less now so um, you know I'm enjoying the fish and chips here and I, I just wanted to say a little bit about that and I will be posting a, a video on uh, a day in the life at some point but and but for now I've got the Monday video Monday giveaways I've got the Friday fish and chips so that's a minimum of two videos every week and I'm still doing projects of course I don't mean to you know I've, I've got a whole bunch of projects planned and right now as of today the weather um, is turning you know it's springtime in New England and I'm dying to get back at the blacksmithing I have a whole list of uh, blacksmithing videos that I want to shoot so hopefully this spring and summer I'll be able to give you a lot of blacksmithing videos because I know many of you love those videos um, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to say. You know, it's just, this is new territory for me, so I'll need to work out some stuff and kind of figure out some things, what I, how I'm going to do this and, and see how it goes. But my hope is to, I guess, you know, contribute something to you rather than just, you know, blather on. You know, I, if, I, if I can't, you know, the, that's the point, you know, is to um, see what I can give, how I can share something with you guys. And in, in, in a little bit of a different format, and and to keep a regular schedule about it, so you know we can when it's coming around. If you want to watch it right away, or you know you can you can you get a little bit of an idea of what to expect. So uh, let me see if there's anything else. Um, I'm not sure. Did I say it already? But some of the the um, the Friday Fish and Chips videos I have planned are on creativity, on crafting and making things. Oh, where's my list here? I got a list here. Um, and I, I may do one on writing because, you know, the writing's a big deal for me anyway because with all the web pages I have, it, that's a lot of writing in terms of tutorials. But I also, I'm, I'm finishing up my third, you know, epic fantasy novel. So writing in terms of storytelling is a big deal for me. And I have plans for 
and I'm really excited about plans for some upcoming writing in terms of um, I have two um, volumes of short stories that I want to do and I'm really excited about that it's really something I'm looking forward to um, anyway uh, let me see any more updates I have for you I you know um, if you follow my stuff and it's hard for me to know sometimes you know like I think you know if, you, if I do a million hits in a month on my YouTube channel I'm like well you know how many of those people just needed that one video you know and and they're done and how many people you know follow my stuff a lot and know more than I realize about what I'm doing and you know, the kind of things I'm working on and the kind of stuff I talk about but uh, the Wizards Lair I've uh, I've you know I've um, I haven't been doing as much with the Wizards Lair as I want to do but I'm going to get a push on to try to finish that up because I got some really wonderful and actually quite beautiful ideas for that uh, it's like a, a, a concept in my mind and uh, let me think what else is there anything else yeah like I said more blacksmithing coming I have uh, and maybe at some point in, an, in a future video I will show you my board with my project lists on it I have a, a, a tremendous number of projects that I want to get done some a lot of them small a lot of them typical for what I do and some of them different like I'd like to build a grandfather clock and I'd like to make a classical guitar that's been on my list a very long time uh, and then that's everything uh, if I have another thing so do so you can what you can do is you can um, give me some feedback here let me know what you think about this vlog thing I'm gonna continue to do it even if it gets a lot of thumbs down I'm gonna continue to do it for a while just to give it some see if it if I can personally gain some traction with it and learn and understand how to just freestyle talk like this with, I just have talking points and I, I kind of freestyle it which I, I really don't do a whole lot of but um, if there's some kind of a benefit to you with it that you can you know learn from and gain in a different kind of a format rather than just a straight up tutorial which which I've done 800 times now uh, yeah yeah so leave a comment um, and if you like this kind of a thing because uh, it, it's a little bit different you know give me a thumbs up but and if you have oh particularly if you have ideas as in terms of what kind of talks you'd like me to talk about like I I've been thinking you know I could I could do I want to do one on blacksmithing and learning new things and I think that's an interesting idea because when I first started in blacksmithing there were no YouTube videos for it well there were a few but there were no sword making videos and um, none not a one on YouTube and that was well that was a long time ago so I, ha I ordered five books because I didn't even know how to do blacksmithing. I wanted to make a sword. I didn't know how to blacksmith. And but I, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that process of of jumping into something that you really don't know anything about and, and, and then how to overcome that and how to just, you know, have fun through the courage it takes. It takes a little bit of courage to learn something totally new. But, um, you know, it's, it's actually a fun process. And it's you, you're not just you know learning a, a subject you're also expanding yourself as a in, 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 with a little bit of courage and a little bit of um, uh, uh, fortitude I guess you could say so that's that efficient hoops is good it's always good and um, I'll, I'll do another fish and chips vlog but I won't really talk about myself or this one was inspiration and motivation so I talked a little bit about my story so you could maybe derive some inspiration from that and, um, but the next um, episode next Friday at 12 o'clock, I'll post it, will be, um, you know, more of a pure, uh, just subject, helpful subject that I'll talk about. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you're not a subscriber, you know, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you, I, I'd love to have you on board. I got a lot of great stuff coming.